Listen, I get it. It's getting too cold for ice cream. But those warm desserts take too long. Or do they? Before we get started, I just want to be absolutely clear there's a number of ways to make this dessert. I'm not saying this is the best way, but I'm saying this is the easiest and in my opinion, equally as delicious. Now we got that out of the way, let's get to making this nice, warm, gooey dessert called Um Ali, which originates from Egypt. Mm -mm -mm. Takes me back to my childhood. So first, you're going to want five buttered croissants. Then you're going to ask yourself, why did I let these get flat in my shopping bag? Anyway, 150 grams of pistachio. Yeah, it's okay. You can try one out, you know. This is just a quality check. I understand you. Then you're gonna want some double cream. You can use single cream. Double cream is just nicer and thicker. So you're gonna want 250 milliliters of double cream. Then you're gonna want two to two and a half tablespoons of white granulated sugar. And then you're gonna want something with high walls, which is oven safe, that you can put it all in. So let's get started by getting a long bit out of the way. Peel all of your pistachios into a bowl where you can crush them. Now you've got all your pistachios, either using the bottom of a cup or a rolling pin, crush your pistachios, trying to get a nice mix of big and small pieces to give different textures. Then you're going to want to rip up three of your five croissants and make the first layer into bite sized pieces, pouring on half of your double cream, nice and even all across so it's covered. Then you're going to want to sprinkle on half of your pistachios. I like to use the bigger pieces for this layer, giving the center a nice crunchy texture. Once you've done this, sprinkle on some sugar just to add some sweetness to it all. And it's already looking good. Mm, mm, mm. Then you want to do the same thing with the rest of your ingredients. Put the croissants, then the rest of your cream, rest of your pistachio, and then of course, just a sprinkle of sugar to give it a nice caramelized topping. That cream makes sure you get into all the gaps so it drips through. Don't be shy with the pistachio. I know you want to nibble it but I promise you the more pistachio on this dessert, it's going to come out better for you. Once you've added the sugar, Make sure you have a preheated oven on standby at 180 degrees. You're going to want to put this in there for 10 to 15 minutes till it's got a nice crispy outer layer. And what can I do for 10 to 15 minutes you ask? Well, you can maybe act like you know what you're doing with some sewing needles. Or you can subscribe to Zebra Kitchen and of course turn on bell notifications. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Make sure you subscribe. Or you could just wait around patiently if you want. I'll just keep looking in the oven, it's up to you. And once it's finished, remove it from the oven and place it on the side to cool for 5 to 10 minutes. Please don't try to tuck in straight away. I'm telling you from experience, it's not going to end up well because it is very hot. Once it's cooled down but it's still warm, plate up, make sure to get right to the bottom so you've got all those layers, the crispy top and the gooey bottom all combined. And now for the important part tasting mm, mm, mm. my gosh is that good Woo! i was meant to just have one bite but you know what can you do but go back for a second bite but you know i promised us it. it's just gonna be one more bite and then just a little nibble just a little you know what maybe it's best to just get off camera so uh yeah if you want to get a bit more fancy with it, you can serve it in glass pots. And make sure to cook it all together and then add it to these. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. If you love pistachios, you have to try it out. It's so easy, so delicious, and it's one of my childhood favorites. Like I said at the beginning, you can make this in a number of different ways. Some people add cinnamon, some people soak the croissants in milk, but I like to make it nice and easy and I think it's just as delicious. So give it a go. Let us know how you get on in the comments or what else you want to see on our channel. Let us know in the comments. If you like this, please make sure you smash the like button, hit subscribe, and of course, if you don't want to miss any more recipes, hit that little notification bell. And until next time, guys, peace! I want to make sure no one's around.
Sorry, there was none for the outro. As soon as I cut the camera, they were on me like pigeons at Trafalgar Square. It was so good, it was gone in seconds. You gotta try it out. Let us know. Peace!